most people are perverted. Absolutely. <laughs> In every sense of the word. You watch too much porno. You play too many video games. Man. You toss too many salads. You eat too many cookies. And you make too many damn excuses. Hey. The greatest American alive. It's my position that the perverted father is destroying America. Because they're, ra they're raising their kids with their own perverted ideology. Yes, and when I uh, say perverted, I, I don't mean just sexual. This nigga figure told me the other day, kids do not or should not have to learn anything after they come from school. <laughs> <laughs> so after they leave the schoolhouse for eight hours, the parents shouldn't have to do nothing. The state is supposed to raise my baby. Right now in America, <laughs> parenting is a luxury that we can't afford. It, huh. it takes too much time, huh? Yeah. It's too expensive, huh? Man. To be a daddy in America. Too expensive. That's a perverted ideology. To be blaming on baby mama, but like what kind of baby daddy is you? What kind of father are you? Like that's the question that I think that the men in America have to ask right now and hold ourselves accountable is what kind of father am I? And like a few years ago, man, I was a horrible father. Like when I first got divorced, I had no idea how to deal with the separation from my children and my ex-wife. I was lost. And I found myself in the in the bottom of a, a bottle every day. Like all most of day. us do. Like I was trying to drink my troubles away and they just started just compiling and compiling. And I didn't have anywhere to go to have an honest conversation on how to navigate this pain. Everyone around could just say, be a man. What does that mean? I mean, that's a perverse ass ideology. I don't even understand <laughs> what that means. In a time where we can't even define what a man or a woman is, what does being a man mean? That's like the most important question that we can ask right now. Is because if, if it's not my sexual, like if it's not based on my penis and my testicles, <laughs> like if that's not the starting place of being a man, then where are we finna start at? Your thoughts on me make me a man? Man. What you think about me makes me a man? Mm. <laughs> and so if I don't stack up to your idea of what a man is, then I, I'm less than? Yeah. And I think that's a crazy ass place to be at because like that creates pressure. I know every time I have a conversation with men, they start talking about the pressure of being a man without actually having a, a definition for what a man is or how to behave. So how do they have a problem with something that they don't know what it is? 